Hi, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information as well. So let's go ahead and see what we have for you. So in life, you know, when you are focused on your dreams, on your goals, you know, it's important to really look at all, all of the um, uh, related issues that are going to impact or affect where you want to go. And it's to pay careful attention to what you're finding, the research that you find, the statements that might, statements of, of uh, experts that might help you. To discern is to really pay close attention to and to uh, understand what you're pursuing, how you're pursuing it, what's it gonna feel like when you, when you get there. And uh, the clear vision, again, you have to have clear vision. It has to be the vision that really drives you. So if you are hoping to become a uh, black belt, then you have to really believe it here in your heart. You have to put in the work and the effort and the study to be able to achieve it. And so again, clear vision and details. It's a complete picture of, of really diving deep within whatever you want to choose to accomplish or whatever you want to do, whatever your vision may be. It's knowing all of the information surrounding it. It's understanding uh, the pieces that it's that you have to undertake to be able to achieve it. And to discern, I think also can suggest sweeping away the distractions or the people that are not going to be beneficial to your, vi your vision. So uh, there are a lot of naysayers in the world who uh, maybe don't want to see friends succeed. And so you really have to, you have to be in charge of your own mind. You have to be in charge of, of your belief system, your, your thoughts. And you are the ringmaster of scrutiny. So it's really pay close attention to all the messages that are going around in this issue that you're trying to either deal with or something that you're trying to do. To scrutinize, to be discerning. It's really to clear out the extraneous material and to focus and, and laser focus exactly on what you're hoping to accomplish. And having the depth of knowledge to understand the details because, you know, I think another message is don't do it half-assed. I mean, just go in there and do it. Uh, give it your all, but get the knowledge and, do, and have knowledge as you're making these decisions. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, spiritual self, our emotional well-being. See if I can pick these up. Okay. Okay. What can we learn for the week of September 17th through the 23rd? Ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestor, ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy. We will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. Well, as, as the expression goes, you learn from experience and learn from history and pay attention to what happened before. And these things can inform or shape some of your decisions. And particularly, if you're using your, your scrutiny and your discernment to, you know, to research a profession or a hobby that you want to get involved with, again, it's uh, thinking about 
thinking about those who have gone before, how, how and um, uh, how and why did they address certain things to, you know, to the degree possible. So, you know, with ancestral wisdom, it's, it's really learning from those who have, who have come before. That could be a grandmother, it could be a grandfather, it could be a great grandparents. You know, they have experience in life and they've maybe been through a similar experience. So particularly if this relates to a, a matter within your household, a matter with your children, it's to think about actions of those before, that perhaps you can gain some wisdom or some knowledge rega regarding your experience relative to what their experience was. Yeah, walk the earth many times before, you know, we have a lot of information out there that if we just study the past, we can kind of, um, we, we should be able to help ourselves in the present. So study and think about what has happened before, how can it inform you? And so now let's take a look at the body. messages do you have for our health and body for the week of the 17th? Change physician, phys change doctors. <laughs> so sometimes doctors are not a good match. And instead of Having to deal with doctors that are not a good match, that are not listening to you, that are not paying attention to you, or taking the time, you know, look through a directory, look through your plan, if you have a plan, and I hope that, uh, you know, you do. Some people don't, and that's a challenge. That's a challenge within itself, that any doctor would be better than no doctor. So I, I, I um, Except that I understand that that some folks don't have health coverage and, and that's a challenge. It's hard. But for those that have a, a uh, physician who is not working out for them for whatever reason, there's no harm in trying to find someone else. You have to find the right match. And um, in these times, particularly in the United States, it just seems with some health care that it's just they're on the clock. They've got about eight minutes to see you and to uh, do what they need, check in with you before they pass you on to the other places to get your oops, your blood drawn. But um, there's there's no reason to if if you really f have an adverse reaction, if you really have an intuitive thought that this isn't a good fit for me, try to find another fit. It's, it's that simple. No one is forcing you to keep someone that you don't trust. And really that's the issue with your doctors is you have to trust what they're telling you. You have to trust the advice that they're giving you. And if you don't trust that advice, then uh, try to find someone that you connect with better. And you know, that's, uh, there, there's just no reason. There's no reason for you to be unhappy unless it is a travel issue or timeliness um, of getting to see the, the doctor. Yeah, doctor, doctoring and the healthcare industry just in this country, it's a whole nother story. So, but not, not for today, other than if you have doctors and if you're not happy, then find someone that you feel better about. Because if you already have that anxiety about seeing your person and you don't trust them, then that's, that is a recipe for disaster. And uh, to the degree that you're able to switch out, give someone else a shot, and that's, you know, that's just something to be mindful of and aware of. 
So now let's pull a theme for the week and just get a sense of what's going on. Just overarching picture, something to think about. The creator, it's a beautiful card. And with creation, everyone is a creator. Everyone has ability and talents and is, e and is able to create things, ideas, stories, experiences. You are the creator of your life. And, you know, I love that this illustration has this source of light right here. And, um, you know, let your light shine. Try to ignite your own passions, your own enthusiasms. Try to find something in your life that you can create and feel proud of and feel happy about. And that might be making cupcakes. It might be painting. It could be writing a short story. It could be uh, creating something for your child, like building a toy, a dollhouse or something for them. So. You know, there's a, there are many opportunities for creativity and to be a creator. And so uh, all work and no play is a drag. Go forth and find something that is meaningful to you to create. It'll bring more joy into your life. It'll bring happiness and satisfaction that uh, you're able to channel yourself or able to express yourself through your creations. So for next week, uh, be the creator, take the energy and do something with it. Now, some may say that this might be the divine source, and that could very well be. It could be getting in touch with the divine source that is important to you, uh, the God, the divine source, but the creator really also lies within you and your ability to change the world to make it a better place through your talents through your beliefs through your inspirations okay so let's take a look at a practice area for the week just something specifically that we can do or or work on or just be aware of to meditate on or to uh, just, you know, put in your heart, put in a small place in your heart. Okay. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring the resentment blocks the flow of love. One of the hardest lessons to learn in life is to forgive and to drop the grudges and to drop the bad feelings. When we feel hurt and when we've been really hurt, like, like your heart is in pain, it's hard to imagine how you would be able to forgive someone. And you may think, I'll never get over it. I never want to speak to them. I never want to see them again. I don't wish them well. You I mean, there are a host of things that when you're in pain and when your heart is heavy or you've been disappointed or you've been betrayed or lied to, it's very hard to find, uh, to make room for forgiveness. And it, it is one of the toughest lessons in life. However, to forgive is going to release that ball of negative energy that rests within you. And so to forgive is, uh, you know, if you can let things go, put them into the box of perspective in your life, which is, gosh, that was a bad part of my life. They didn't treat me very well. Uh, I forgive them. Doesn't mean we have to be best friends, but I'm letting it go. I'm going to take it, I'm going to release it and let it go. Because when you are holding on to all of these hurts and holding on to all of this anger that 
you can't forgive someone, that's going to impact you. That's going to hurt your health. It's going to hurt your peace of mind. It's going to build, again, resentment, but it's also going to build fear of trusting others. Because when you are, uh, we're all going to get hurt. We're all going to feel disappointment. Many of us will be betrayed or lied to. And if you keep focusing on that piece of your life, it's go you're going to miss all of the other beauty that is out there. And so you just have to say, yep, that was a really rotten time. And they really did me wrong. But I forgive them and I'm done with it. Wipe your hands, push it off, move on to people that, that improve your life, that benefit you and that are, that you may trust. You know, to forgive is really to be divine and um, it's a sense, it's, it's just the hard, one of the hard things to do. Over time, I think, uh, it's easier to forgive. There is that glowing period of, of hurt where it's hard to make any rational decisions and where you may not want to forgive. But over time, and time is the great equalizer, the great balancing piece in, in, in our experience, is over time, you should be able to forgive because the, the memory of what's happening is, is getting longer and getting greater. And, and then you have a better perspective, which is, oh, uh, you know, yeah, that was rotten, but that's okay, you know. I'll, I'll move on. I'm not going to be angry at them anymore. I'm not going to uh, hold harboring uh, hurtful thoughts about them. So forgiveness, and to me, that between forgiveness, creator, and the ringmaster of scrutiny, to be discerning, to be clear-minded about your vision, you know, your forgiveness can, a lack of ability to forgive can impact your clear vision because it keeps you stuck in a certain place and the creator you know uh, create from a place of love and joy and of happiness and when you have the unable to forgive someone within you you know you're not you're not a hundred percent there you're not a hundred percent present to be able to create so this is an interesting spread because these are I was just thinking about forgiveness the night before, which was last night, trying to, you know, it just, it just came up in my mind and it was, uh, and it was really about finding the strength to forgive someone. And cre the creator about passion, inspiration, taking your ball of energy, your ball of light and putting it out there. So I, I, I think this is a great week to work on these elements to help get yourself in balance and to th reflect and to think about your life and to think about times past and to make any changes necessary if you need to with your doctoring. And to be clear about your vision, to be informed about your decision, to understand all of the issues of, of being discerning, which means being knowledgeable.